Welcome to this Hatha Yoga class for the masculine warrior energy. For this class, you're going to need a bolster and two blocks. And we're going to start with a lying on our back and we're going to be doing some figure four poses. So go ahead and lie down on your back. So we're going to be doing a lot of warrior poses today, obviously, <laughs> and this will help to prepare us for our warrior poses. So you're going to cross your right ankle over your left and draw your left knee into your chest. So relax your shoulders down, feeling the stretch on the outside of your hips and into your glutes. So this class is part of our entire Masculine Feminine series. So if you want the whole series, you'll want to subscribe to the channel and check out the playlist. We also have an infographic that you can download. If you go to melissawest.com slash balance, that's the first link probably in the show notes as well. So you can check that out as well. Then you can release this side and go ahead and do the other side, cross the left leg over the right leg and draw the, the leg in. You wanna feel the sensation in the outside of the hip and into the glutes. So the warrior archetype tends to be kind of feared in our culture when it's out of balance as being aggressive and unnecessary, which, you know, makes sense. <laughs> But when it's in balance, it's, it's a really great archetype and we'll focus on this today. We all have the masculine and feminine within us. And when they're in balance, it creates great polarity. We feel balanced. We're able to connect with each other better as well. You can go ahead and release this down. You're going to roll to your side and we're going to come up onto all fours. Okay, so we're going to come into a lunge pose. You might want to have extra padding underneath your knees if you're on a hardwood floor like me so you can double up your mat. You're going to walk your left leg through first to come into that lunge pose. Tuck your tailbone under, reach your leg forward, reach your hips forward. So you're opening up the front of your hip. So a balanced warrior energy provides the divine masculine with unsurpassable power source, which will fuel the inner masculine to reach for their goals, fight for worthy causes, and actively generates to have a lasting legacy. Okay, and then we're going to switch sides. So you're going to bring the left leg down and reach your right leg through. You're gonna tuck that tailbone under so you feel that opening in the front of the left hip now. And then you're going to come back to the center and you could keep that extra padding for underneath your knees or you can come onto all fours. And in this one, we're going to uh, do just a little bit of cat pose. So you're gonna exhale, round up through your back and inhale, arch through your back so that you're warming up your spine a little bit. So in its balanced state, the masculine warrior energy combines effort, energy, and initiative.
And then what we're going to do here is we're going to do some arm leg reaches for some balance to prepare our balance. So you're going to reach your opposite arm and leg. And then you can rest back on your heels for a child's pose. Just stretch out that low back. And then we're gonna make our way up to standing. You can either come through downward facing dog or you can roll up to standing from a squat through standing forward fold, it's your choice. Okay, you're going to come to the top of your mat. We're going to come into warrior one. The balanced warrior masculine energy has a clear sense of purpose and direction in their lives. And I feel like warrior one really embodies that energy. So take a step back with your right leg, sink down into your front left glute, and you can raise your arms up and you can really sink into that sense of purpose and direction. And then you can let that fall out of your body and we'll go ahead and do warrior one on the other side. So take a step back through your left leg. Your hips are facing forward. Sink down through your front right glute and you're bringing your arms up to really connect with that sense of purpose and direction. And then you can release that from your body. You're gonna step forward, with your feet hip bone width apart, roll your pelvis over your leg wall and just come into a standing forward fold. And then you're going to roll up to standing. We're going to stand towards the middle of our mat. And we're going to come into warrior three. So standing on your left leg, bring your arms straight up. You're going to hinge forward through your hip. The warrior masculine energy, the warrior archetype is decisive. And they think through to all possible logical outcomes. So you're gonna come up, 
and release that down. Relax the shoulders. And we're going to go ahead and do warrior three on the other side. So standing on your right foot now, you're going to hinge forward. You could also hold onto the wall or a chair for this. You could have your hands down by the side of your body or out to the side. So choose a position that works best for you. And then coming up, you're going to take your feet wide and you're going to roll your pelvis over your leg bones, coming into a wide-legged standing forward fold here. Okay, so coming up to standing again, you're going to turn your left toes out, your right toes in. You're going to sink down through your left sit bone. You're going to bring your arms up parallel to the ground, so you're coming into warrior two. A true warrior is a protector, not an invader. Relax your shoulders down. And then come up. You're going to turn your toes. So now your left toes come in, your right toes come out. Sink down through your right sit bone now. And you're going to bring your arms up parallel to the ground. Use your back muscles to hold your arms up. Looking over your right fingertips this time. And a true warrior is going to fight for the highest good of all involved. And then you're going to release this from your body. Take your toes facing forward, your legs wide. You're going to roll your pelvis over your leg bones again. You're going to come down to that wide-legged standing forward fold. The warrior archetype is going to fight the inner battle with their own ego. Okay, so slowly come up, relax your shoulders, roll them back and down. <laughs> We're going to bring our feet in and you're going to come down so that you're lying on your stomach. Okay, on your belly, just roll your hips from side to side to release your low back. Tuck your right toes under, lift your knee, reach back through your right heel. Tuck your left toes under, lift your knee, reach back through your left heel. We're going to do half bow pose. So bend your right knee, reach around, hold onto your right foot, roll your shoulder back and down. You're going to pull your ankle away from your buttocks to bring yourself into a little back bend here. Okay, release this side from your body. Go ahead and wiggle your hips from side to side.
And then you can bend your left leg, reach around and hold on to your left ankle or your foot. Roll your left shoulder back and down. Pull your ankle away from your buttocks to lift your chest up off the ground. And then you can release this. Rock your hips from side to side. Okay, you're gonna come up and back. We're gonna come onto our backs to do a twist. So you're gonna, you can use your bolster if you want. You don't have to. You can put your bolster on the left side of your mat, lying down on your back with your left leg extended, your right leg bent. You're going to press into your right leg, take your hips over to the right corner and then drop your knee down to the left. Then come on back to the center, press into your right foot, untuck your hips, extend your right leg out, and then you can take your bolster over to the other side if you're using it. Bend your left leg, to press into your foot, take your hips over to the left side of your mat, and drop your left knee over to your bolster on the right side. And then you can make your way into your final resting position. So you can have your knees bent and your feet flat on the floor, your legs out long. You might want to place your bolster underneath your knees. You can stay resting in Shavasana. And I'm going to sit up and read you a poem. This poem is called Unconditional by Jennifer Wellwood. Willing to experience aloneness, I discover connection everywhere. Turning to face my fear, I meet the warrior who lives within. Opening to my loss, I gain the embrace of the universe. Surrendering into emptiness, I find fullness without end. Each condition I flee from pursues me. Each condition I welcome transforms me, and I and becomes itself transformed into its radiant jewel-like essence. I bow to the one who has made it so, who has crafted this master game. To play it is purest delight, to honor its form true devotion. Thank you so much for joining me for this class for the the yoga for the divine warrior masculine <laughs> the yoga for the divine masculine warrior. If you like this class, thank you for giving it a thumbs up and for subscribing for more classes. This is the last of the divine masculine feminine series, so be sure to go to melissawest.com/balance to get your PDF infographic download of the balanced masculine and feminine and next week we will have a live class that will switch to more of the classes that have to do with my book of, with uh, five element five element theory so be sure to check that out i would love it if you put my divine masculine warrior is balanced in the comments and i will see you next week for a live class <laughs>